Hi guys, welcome you again to another today's news till on the issue of the Muslim Muslim tickets and the clergymen who were in Kasok at the Shetima's unveiling, you know, events. As we all know, that incident alone has caused a lot of controversies in Nigeria and it has just been said again by Tunobu Group that clergymen in Kasok at Shetima's unveiling not mechanics or yam sellers but not big names in Christendom yet. These people are just disrespecting or disregarding the religion called Christianity because I just wonder why you fake pastors, you fake bishops and you know just to please yourself or your kinsmen or whatever. This ought not to be happening in a religious country like Nigeria. Well, let's see the full details of the news. According to the news, the Tunubu campaign organization has said the alleged impostors at Wednesday's unveiling of Kashim Shetima as the All Progressive Congress APC vice presidential candidate in Abuja were not fake clerics as noted on social media. In a statement, Bayo Onanuga, the spokesperson for the organization, said the event was an open affair which allowed members of the public to attend, including the people in Kasoks and some other now being alleged derided by hurling of the opposition. We want to say that those clergymen were not fake not mechanics or yam sellers, as the purviews of E-Trade have made Nigerians to believe in the social media. They are not big names in Christendom yet. They are gradually building up their missions, the statement reads. They are church leaders who genuinely believe that Nigeria must exchew politics of hatred and religious bigotry and rather embrace politics of peace and nation building. We therefore deploy the historical twisting of the presence of these men and women in cassocks and false accusation against our candidates Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinobu and Senator Shetima. The orchestrated social media sensation over the presence of the men is needless and all calculated to distract, you know, to detract, pardon, the from the huge success recorded at the monumentous event on Wednesday. We believe Nigerians are too wise and discerning to see through these shenanigans. Ashiwaju Tinobu and his running mates and our great party are working very hard to provide purposeful leadership and good progressive governance that will improve the quality of life of Nigerians. We are, you know, we are well aware that the opposition parties and the sponsors of the social media charade are jittery and threatening by the intimidating political credentials of our candidates. The only way they hope to shift attention of public scrutiny away from their uninspiring candidates and credentials is to create social media distraction. Our campaign is determined on focusing on core governance issues that affect all Nigerians with a view to confronting them and make the desired improvement in the standard of living of our people. Many Nigerians, particularly Christians and Christian bodies, have condemned the Muslim Muslim presidential tickets of the APC. Tinobu, the presidential candidate of the party, who is a Muslim, has insisted on having Shetima, a fellow Muslim, as his running mate. Tinobu is from southern Nigeria, Washitima, a former Bono governor, is from the Muslim-dominated northern part of the country. 
The Christian Association of Nigeria has also accused Tinobu's camp of desperately trying to sell Shetima to Christians and doing everything, including lying, to push out a wrong narrative. Khan wonders why the desperation. First, a story was out claiming to have come from the chairman of Khan, Bono State, only to be refuted. Secondly, there was another lie that Bola Ahmed Tinobu and his running mates were on their way to meet the Khan president one night. A meeting that was not true and was not, you know, was on a night that the Khan president was in Alabama, USA, attending Baptist World Alliance Conference, of which he is the vice president. Another desperation story was that they met with Papa Adeboye, which the RCCG later refuted. If Christians are not important, why the desperation? Bola Metinobu is free to hire mechanics and other artisans and so clerical garment for them and efforts that will only add to their many robes when the political exercise is over but will not change the need for fairness and justice that Khan is calling for. Khan appreciates that we are in a democracy, not, you know, no need to be funny or dubious. No need to do funny or dubious things, pardon, just to prove a point because it will, in the end, bounce back. But the Noble team should simply do what is right and stop the drama. Khan said, what is your own thought to this? You just had words Khan have said to us concerning what has happened. If you like, so what is more than Kasok and put it on, all in the name of one Nigeria, we don't want to know. We are not concerned. All we know is that come 2023, the best will come out of the best. What is your thought to this? We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this main development. We would like you to share it with us via the comment section. Don't forget that Khan themselves have denied that they know not those people. Not even a singular person is recognized by the Christian Association of Nigeria. And these people are said not to be fake clergymen. Well, we hope to see the, you know, truth behind these, you know, you know, so-called men of God. We would like you to let us know your own thoughts on this, but before we go, let's see what people have felt to this. Amatola Obagbemi reacted and said, Please stop this for that ridicule of yourself and don't insult us any further. A bishop is one of the most senior positions in Christian church and is not an overnight achievement. It takes years and different levels of promotion to achieve this. Hence, while... You cannot have unknown pastors. You cannot have a foolish bishop. It as you know, you cannot also have unknown bishops, pardon. It is as foolish as saying unknown professors or unknown vice chancellors or unknown justice of a federation. Can you fake chief imams with some opio, you know, obscure persons, pardon, and get away with it? The impostors couldn't even dress properly. You are mocking God, not man, and he will surely visit you with an adequate response. You claim these people are real clerics. You claim they are not fake. You claim they are not hired. You claim they are recognized by the Christian Association of Nigeria. Yet, their dressing doesn't correlate. Look at the one with Kasok, and we all know that. Bishops don't go out with cassock. Even if they are going for a funeral, you know, a mass, a funeral mass, the cassock will be kept until they got to the place where the mass will take place before the father will put it on. So looking at this person putting it on, you know, working with it, definitely you know that this person has not passed through the real process. We all would like you to let us know your own point of view to this that has been said. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.